Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. This topic provides a walkthrough of installing a multi-user version of Sage 50 Accounting on the computer that will be hosting your Sage 50 company data on a network. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to install Sage 50 Accounting on a computer that hosts your Sage 50 company data, share the folder that contains Sage 50's data path and define user permissions, and activate and register Sage 50 Accounting and check for updates. During this demonstration, the program will be installed on a computer system running Microsoft Windows 7. However, the steps outlined here can also be used to install Sage 50 on other supported versions of Windows. Before installing Sage 50 Accounting on a server, it's a good idea to make sure that your computer system is properly prepared for the installation. To learn tips that will help ensure a successful installation of Sage 50, it is recommended that you view the pre-installation checklist anytime learning topic before you install the program on your server. The pre-installation topic will quickly walk you through preparing your system for a successful installation, including comparing your system with the system requirements list included with your Sage 50 package, verifying that you have the required local administrator login rights, configuring antivirus and firewall software so that they do not interfere with the installation and program functionality, and more. Once you have prepared the system, you can begin installing Sage 50 Accounting. To begin, we'll insert the installation disk into the computer's drive. An auto-run window should display. If it doesn't appear, we can manually run it by opening Windows Explorer, accessing the installation disk, and then double clicking on the auto run application. On the auto run window, we'll click the Install Sage 50 Accounting hyperlink. The Sage 50 installation wizard will then start. This installation wizard will guide you step by step through the installation process. Let's click Next to start the setup process. We'll agree to the license agreement and then click Next. At this point, we may receive a message stating that the Windows firewall has been detected. Firewall programs running on the system must allow Sage 50 Accounting and its helper programs to run without restriction. Otherwise, Sage 50 will not function as designed. Always click Yes to this message. Doing so will instruct the Sage 50 Setup program to automatically configure Windows Firewall to allow Sage 50 files to communicate properly on the network. Depending on the system, the Setup program may also detect additional non-Microsoft Firewall programs running. Note that the Sage 50 installation wizard cannot auto-configure third-party firewall programs. It is for this reason that you should turn on your firewall's alert system before continuing. With alerts turned on, your firewall program will prompt you the first time a network-aware program is run on the system. When you receive firewall alerts during the installation, always select to allow or unblock Sage 50 accounting and pervasive files as they are run for the first time. The wizard then searches for previous versions of Sage 50 or Sage Peachtree installed on the system. Now the serial number window will appear, asking for the serial number provided with your Sage 50 purchase. Let's enter the serial number and click Next. If you are upgrading a previous version of Sage 50 Accounting or Sage Peachtree Accounting, the Upgrade Options window will display. If Yes is selected on this window, the next page of the wizard will be the summary window where you can simply click install to upgrade your existing program using its current program location and configuration. If you want to run both versions side by side, you can select no and then click next to configure Sage 50 to be installed in a new program files location and a new company files location. If you are not upgrading, the installation wizard will then display the single or network options window instead of the upgrade options window. On this window, we must select whether or not we are installing Sage 50 Accounting only on this computer or if we plan to share the Sage 50 company data on a network. We plan to share the Sage 50 company data with other Sage 50 workstations on the network, so we will select No and then click Next. On the Sage 50 company data file storage window, we are asked if we want to store the Sage 50 data files created for the company on this computer or if another computer on the network will host the data. We have assigned this computer as the network server 
and we are hosting the company data files on it. So let's leave Yes selected and then click Next. On the Sage 50 Program Files location window, we will define the location on this computer that the Sage 50 Program Files should be stored. This location must be a local hard drive on this computer. Let's install the program files into its current location and then click Next. Earlier, we told the setup process that the company data will be stored on this machine. Now we need to define the exact location on the Sage 50 Company Data Location window. This folder will contain your Sage 50 company data folder, as well as sample companies and Sage 50 files that are designed to be shared between companies, such as tax table files and report files. This folder is commonly referred to as Sage 50's data path. By default, the data path is stored inside a folder named Company. We'll leave this set to its current location and click Next. We have finished configuring how Sage 50 accounting should be set up on the system and a summary window appears listing our selections. If necessary, we can click the back button to correct any mistakes we may see here. Let's click install to begin the actual copying and setup process. A setup status window will appear providing a view of the current progress of the installation. This portion of the installation will only take a few minutes. It will be during this time that you may be prompted by your firewall to allow or block one or more of the files listed on this window. Again, always allow these files to run unrestricted. In addition to Sage 50 accounting, other programs installed at this time include the Pervasive Database Engine, which is used to manage your company database, and Sage 50's Advisor and Integration Services. Once the copying process is complete, another window will appear providing you with an opportunity to share the Sage 50 data path folder on this machine so that other computers on the network can access it. Let's click the Share the Folder button. This will open up Windows Explorer with the folder that should be shared on the network highlighted. Let's right click on this folder and then select Properties. Then we'll select the Sharing tab. To share the folder, let's click the Advanced Sharing button. We'll check the Share This Folder box, and then we'll click the Permissions button. All network users that will be accessing the Sage 50 data on the network must have full rights to this shared folder. On the Permissions window, we'll highlight everyone, and then select Full Control. Now we'll click the Add button. The in internal Windows system user also needs access so that Pervasive SQL communicates properly on the network. We'll type in System, Click the Check Names button to validate, and then click OK. We'll give System full control, and then we'll select OK or Yes to any prompts until we are back at the Sage 50 installation wizard. Back on the wizard, we'll take note of the information it shares, and print the information displayed when clicking the View Important Information link. It includes helpful information that will help make mapping workstations a simpler process. Let's click Next to finish the installation. Once the installation is finished, we can start Sage 50 and or read the release notes. Let's uncheck Start Sage 50 Accounting and then click the Finish button. An HTML page will display with the location of the Network Installation Manager files installed with the program. During the installation, the setup files were copied to a shared folder on the server and includes a custom installation script that makes installing Sage 50 accounting on workstations a very simple process. For steps on how to use the Network Installation Manager, please view the first half of the Installing Sage 50 Accounting on a Workstation Anytime Learning topic. Back on the desktop, we now see three new icons. The Sage 50 Accounting icon will start the program, the Automatic Backup icon allows you to configure automatic backups without opening the Sage 50 program, and the Sage 50 Network Installation Manager instructions can be viewed again by clicking the supplied link. Sage 50 Accounting can also be accessed by selecting it from a new startup folder added to the Start menu. Let's open Sage 50 Accounting. We may receive additional firewall alert prompts as the program starts. Again, always allow the files to run. Although the installation is now finished, there are a couple of additional steps that we should take immediately after the program is installed. First, we should activate the program. 
To activate Sage 50 Accounting, we'll select Help from the menu bar and then Sage 50 Activation. Make sure that you are connected to the Internet and then click the Activate Now button. Sage 50 Accounting will then contact the Sage Activation Server and activate and register the program automatically. Next, if you subscribe to a Sage 50 Payroll solution, such as Simple Payroll or Select Payroll, it's a good idea to go ahead and register the tax service. We'll select Help again, and then Tax Service Registration. In the Register Tax Service window, let's enter the tax registration number provided when we purchase the tax service, and click OK. Our Sage 50 Payroll Solution is now registered for use with Sage 50 Accounting. After registering Sage 50, we can now check to see if there are any updates for the program. We'll select Services from the menu bar and then Check for Updates. We will click the Check for Updates button that appears and will follow any steps that the program may provide. If updates are available, you will be walked through a series of steps that will include downloading program and tax service updates and then walking through wizards that will update the program. In this demonstration, there are currently no updates available, so we can click OK to the prompt and begin using Sage 50 Accounting. With the server installation complete and the Sage 50 data path shared and available on the network, we can now install Sage 50 Accounting on each workstation that will be using the program. For more information, please view the Installing Sage 50 Accounting on a Workstation Anytime Learning topic. So as you have seen, installing Sage 50 is really a simple process. If you prepare your system properly and you make sure that you register your product and download any available updates, you can have Sage 50 up and running in no time. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to install Sage 50 accounting on a computer that hosts your Sage 50 company data on a network, share the folder that contains Sage 50's data path and define user permissions, activate and register Sage 50, and check for updates. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.